Oh, I hate this. Are 50s worth points? I don't know what's worth points. Nobody pays a, nobody pays attention to points. I love that little like troll box. That is like the perfect troll box. All right, let's do it. So this sounds so interesting to me. Geek recommended this. And the idea here is if we get 15,000 or more points, we have to restart from the beginning. But there's an interesting extra caveat here. Unless, if I don't have 15,000 points, I can't restart. I don't even know how many points things are worth. All right, wait, reach the goal after defeating at least 100 spinies. How many points is a spiny worth? Okay, so we have zero points. There's a door, there's, I think I can go down there. It looks like I can, we gotta check up here. Nothing up here. I mean, I have to check the door. Let's check the door. I think this is the way to go. So I don't, I don't think I want that because it'll give me points. But I'm very curious how many points it'll give me just to know. Let's just, here, let's get this. Does collecting a power up give me, I got a thousand points. I have 17,000 points. I have 17, what? Okay, so the one up didn't give me any points. I just like murderized Bowser and got a billion points. Well, that was fast. <laughs> that was fast. All right. I gotta see what the star does. I just died. <laughs> There's not actually a path down there. Okay, so a star is a thousand points, I think. Do I, I think I get this. No, I don't get this. What? Okay, there's one. Where do I actually go? Maybe I just do a smaller jump here? Okay. Okay, now I can, now I can go through here. This is telling me I need to jump around the coins. Does it really matter if I get a single coin? No, those coins turned into blocks and then the blocks blocked me. As their name suggests. Oh my god, I just run right through these, don't I? <laughs> I just literally run right through these. Alright, 2400 points, 2400 points. Oh my god, I don't want those 4400 points. No, what? Where did I go wrong? Could I have jumped over it? Wait, where do I go? Okay, I can go up here. I can go up here. This is our first How many points do I have? 2,400 points. I don't think I want to hit that pow. There's no good things that are going to come from hitting that pow. Oh, if I had jumped up there, I would have been toast. Oh, I hate this. Are 50s worth points? I don't know what's worth points. Nobody pays nobody pays attention to points. That's why I love this. I'm taking the bottom path. Okay, coins aren't coins are worth points. Holy shit! No, 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 no. Don't have to restart yet. Oh my god. Oh my god! This is a soft lock. I can't restart. No. Wait, I can't restart. Do I have, wait, can will I something spawn? Oh, but how do I get it? Holy shit, this is an anti, this is an anti with no checkpoints. Holy shit, how do I get, oh my gosh. But I'm too thick to get through. Will it spawn while I'm here? Or do I have to move over? Okay, I have to move over and then come back and jump. Is this possible? This isn't possible! What? Okay, hold on. I have to do it from further back. Oh. Oh my god, this is impossible! So, okay, the strategy has to be when it goes to a certain point off screen. How about when it's halfway off screen? Oh, there we go, there we go! Oh my god, that actually worked. Yes! We're doing it! Mm, the thickness has helped us because we can get it even when it's pretty far to the left. Holy shit, this is brutal. I love it. 
I love it. Wow, this is so interesting because it allows you to have anti soft locks even with our clear condition, which just allows checkpoints. Okay, so I think we're taking the 50 path. Yeah, it's, look at that, it's only... Oh, this is right, this is right. It was only 100, so it's the same number of points for a 50 as it is for just a single coin. I feel like I need to grab, oh, do I grab the vines or not? I'm a bit scared. I'm a bit scared, I don't know if I grab these vines. I'm going for the vines. I can't even grab them! They don't do a goddamn thing! Oh, I'm holding up BT doves. They do nothing. Whoever started this fourth wall is a genius. It was, uh, it was the evil genius geek. Look at this squish it, squish it. Toadette squish. <laughs> All right. All right, we just jump off of this. This is sketchy though. Do I have enough points for this? I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can take this many points. Oh, 14,000, oh my gosh. 14,820. Does, do red coins give you points? <laughs> what gives you points? Wait, should I go backwards in the cloud? I ju it just occurred to me that I could theoretically go backwards with the cloud. I don't think so. I think we get out of here. Key? Where is Key? Where was Key? Oh, there's only one red, oh my God, there's only one red coin in the level. I just realized that. Oh no. What's in the pipe? Oh, I shouldn't do this. If I'm supposed to go, if I'm supposed to go in the door, I should not try to go into this pipe. I can't go in it. Pokey! <laughs> <laughs> it says pokey. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Oh look, a key. <laughs> oh, I love that. Doesn't matter if I get the one-ups, I don't think, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter if I get the one-ups. We have to fall through here. I think we get this. Yeah. No! 15,000! What? What? Wait, what do I do? So keys are worth points. Do I have to avoid some points somewhere? Get out. What if I just go here anyway? What if I just, oh my God, I have a key. <laughs> That's why you're off screen. I had a key the whole time. I never saw it. Hint. What do you mean hint? One. Step one, mushroom. Okay, step two, pull that cloud. That's what we did. Step three, go back and hit the pal that you weren't supposed to hit before. What is this IKEA instructions? What the heck? Oh, I'm gonna have to, oh no. Okay, is this anti time? Is this guts time? Oh no, that's exactly, oh my gosh, I got exactly 15,000. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Exactly 15,000. Modern trolls, everyone. So we go down here and we go back up here. Then we hit this. Oh, and it didn't. Now I've only got 1,200 points. Oh, now there's another, another pipe. Can we go? You haven't even seen it. Hint of, no, you, not that shit. Oh no, hit other. Hit other pow too. Modern, the modern era, everybody. The modern era. So I have to hit both of them still. So I have to hit this one. But then I also, now I can safely hit this one. Okay. What are those doing? Is it, it's not a, it could be a switch state, I guess. I can't really see the switch state. Do I want to go in that pipe? I don't think I want to go in that pipe. That felt like a back in pipe troll. I think I don't want to go in that pipe. I want to go here. Shit. Oh my God, I should have gotten those. 
Wait, no. Wait, that's a big D. No, 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 that's a big... No, really? Look at that. She even, like... She even starts to go. Oh, my God. I This is terrible. I should have gotten those. Holy shit. I have to get so many. We are fucked. No, is there really no way? Oh, look at that. It looks like you can make it. <laughs> Big cheese. Let's go. I had to get the running speed of bonking the left wall and then cutting the corner perfectly on the right. Yo, big cheese, let's go. I can even use the vine. I could go down there and use the vine. There's nothing stopping me. I could do it. <gasps> big cheese, let's go! <laughs> yeah, look at that contraption, by the way. Huh. I know the mole will run when you cross a certain area and then it'll hit the switch. That must be what hits the switch when you get to that launcher, maybe. Easy. <laughs> Boss. Look at my points! Look at my points! Why was it worth 8,000 points or 10,000 points or whatever that was? That was so many points. That was so many points. <laughs> okay, I think this is fine. Oh, no, 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 no! Stop it. Whoa. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, no, 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 I have to get it. Hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now, I go back this way. Do I? Do I? That's what it told me to do, right? Or maybe, maybe going back that way would have made it worth less points? Oh, it has to do it. Right, right, right. So the way that points work from repeatedly, for instance, bouncing on, oh no, not over here. From repeatedly bouncing on enemies is the more you hit before landing on the ground, you get, you double, it like doubles the points each time. So if I simply land on the ground, that's how it works. Okay. So right now I must have bounced, I must have, shit. <laughs> I must be bouncing off of um, quite a lot of goom rats or whatever. Are those are those Galoombas? Galoombas? I must be bouncing off of a lot of Galoombas off screen right there. That, why do I keep doing this? I don't have to do this. And I want to go back. See, touching the ground resets my like point. Yeah, it's only 200 now. It's only 200 now, so we don't. Need Wait, does it? Oh my gosh, I was like, do I lose my chance to go in this pipe? What is this? I, I have 35,000 points. How in the world am I supposed to kill a hundred spideys? Oh, I just realized why the creator used knowledge checkpoints, by the way. The creator had to use, no, stop collecting these. I hope those points don't matter. Um, the creator had to use knowledge checkpoints because they can't use real checkpoints because it's a uh, clear condition level. I think we just fail. That's just a trap, yeah. Look at all those coins that spew out of there too. Oh! Oh, it's a spike ball that's doing. Oh, what? Holy shit, that was weird. I got stuck on the pal. All right, let's go. Get our spinies. Don't get pow sucked. And then we just hold right. Wait, I have 29,200 points! Do I have to redo it? Is it possible? Is it possible to 
from all the spinies. Is it possible? Those points don't count. I think because I beat the level before. Okay, okay, okay. It's not possible, right? Touching the flag, I think, gives you extra points. How many points do you get for touching the flag? Okay, will it tell me in like just regular play mode? That gave me 800. So I'm assuming if I were closer to the top of the flagpole, if I hit the top, tippy top. Oh, the tippy top is zero because it's a one up. But did it have something to do with, um, somebody was saying maybe it doubles your points? What well, gives you a lot of points? These guys, these are like a thousand each, right? Let's just collect a bunch of these. Okay, I have 3,000, and if I hit the top, it doesn't give me any additional. If I have 3,000 and I hit like midway down, that gave me 4,000. So it seems like just like an enemy, it uh, scales all the way up to 8,000. Yeah, the lowest possible point I think is going to be 200. Let's try it. It's 100. So it goes 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600, or whatever. No, wait, maybe? Wait, what's like, what's the increment? Why did I get 7,200 points? Did you just see that? Is it because it count, it like doubles the points for these? Yeah, 7,100. So it gave me 7,000 for three of these, which makes no sense. Because they're 1,000 each, so if it were double, it'd be 6,100, not 7,100. So basically it, added, it adds up, if there were like a buttload of spinies, it adds them all. It like multiplies them or something. So this is just gonna give me a fuckload of points. Yeah, give me a. It give me fifteen thousand. Wait, it didn't give me as many as I thought though. That's only fifteen thousand. Why are the mushrooms so much? The mushrooms are a lot for some reason. What if I just have crazy amounts of these mushrooms? Or maybe it depends on where I hit on the flagpole. What? Why is that still 15,000? Oh, it's because, oh, it's because it gives me a maximum and then it's just one ups. Oh, it builds up. Yeah, you're right. It builds up the exact same way as hitting enemies do. So the first one is 100, then 200, then 400. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's interesting. So if we make, so just to demonstrate that, if we make a Goomba stack and we squishinate the Goomba stack, we get 200, 400, 800, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 8,000, one up, and then we don't get any more. So you get 16,400 points. Is that right? 16,400 points from a full stack. Yeah, you get 16,400 points from a full stack. And so if I touch the bottom of the flagpole, it's gonna be 16,500? What? 15,100? It's not the same amount of points for hitting the flag and destroying them as it is for... Hold on, let's do it one at a time. It starts at... Yeah, it starts at a thousand. That's what it does. So it'll... So, okay, okay, okay. So this will give me 3,100? Yeah. That'll give me 3,100. Okay. And that'll give me 6,100 6, for the... Oh, 7,100. Oh, because 1,000, 2,000, 4,000. Rain? Yeah, 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 yeah. 1,000, 2,000, 4,000. Okay, and if I hit higher in the flagpole, it'll add the flagpole to that. This is important information. So this level um, is a collab between Skull Candy and Lunarscapes, uh, two awesome creators, but they have been working on this level for seven months, and it is now just released. So I am very excited. Door. Not this shit again. <laughs> This is the one, like, the one that said spike. Like, I'm going. Hint. <laughs> well, you know, that's a Yenus. All right, in the door. <laughs> what <laughs> is happening in my Mario Maker? <laughs> I oh yeah okay hit the all right we'll hit the box we'll hit the box.
All right, look, listen, listen, look at this, look at this. P, I see a big P. I've seen two big P's. We're counting that as a yes. <laughs> That's not a switch, shit, you're right. Wait, no, look, see, it's off. There, I turned it on. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go inside the F. We're literally going into the F. What? Oh, we can just go. <laughs> that one doesn't drop. What if I... Big brain idea, so it'll drop something out of this for me. No, all right, that wasn't it. Um, let's get... <laughs> let's go with the Zor. Am I alive right now? I might be. Oh. Amazing setup! Holy fuck! That was an insane setup! Whoa! How did I get there? I would, it might have been. Was it broken track? I don't even know. Oh, that was amazing! Wait, what is this shit, by the way? Hey, this looks. This is. Oh yeah, we need to make an evil level. Yeah, no, no. We got guys, guys. Just start making bullshit. All right, look. If you wanna contribute, what is this pity bullshit? This. This pity bullshit should hard lock you. If you touch that, it should hard lock you. All right. This is definitely giving me, this is reminding me why I enjoy the evil level. <laughs> just, just start putting things in clouds and clown cars and the levels build themselves, all right? Oh my God. I'm not doing this. I bet you, I bet you Geek hits that fireball. I'm not doing it. Save that fireball for Geek, she needs it. Can you let me up though? That'd be great. Oh, that was close. That was close. There it is. Oh. There it is. Yeah, let's go. Oh! I don't know if I want to be in this. Okay, 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 okay. Geek didn't get here. She's still shooting goobers. Oh, we got a little face now. There was something up there. I wonder what it was. <laughs> I don't think so, MC Velvet. I never take the pity death. Wait, were we in the door? I don't even remember anymore. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, this beginning is just glorious. Hey, Dorlier. Welcome, welcome. Oh, that's amazing. Mm, so this has to be, I, I think I want to hit it and then, <gasps> there's a P block by the way. I think I want to hit it and then, Run to the right. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I just realized what this means for me. Uh... Oh, we're gonna be here a lot, aren't we? <laughs> I should have realized that it was ice blocks. All right, here's the most obvious Kaizo in the West. Oh, no Kaizo. <laughs> Woo! Is this good or bad? That's actually weird that it bumps you like that. Kind of surprising. Did I want, do I want to get hit by this? I have to. What a weird setup right there. Uh-oh. Okay. There's another door here. Is this. Get out of here. Uh, I think we have to go down here. Wait. Did I get a red coin? I guess I did. I have no memory of getting a red coin. Hey, look, a safety coin. <laughs> All right, I can't. There's no way for me to justify this one to you. Like YouTube would eat me alive if I got that coin. <laughs> YouTube, if you don't like this, blame Twitch. They made me do it. They made me do it. Oh, and it just immediately saves. 
guts. This is the year of the guts. We gotta have guts. What was that? What was that? That didn't happen last time. That was amazing. I nearly did it again. Okay, um, I think I do need that. Ugh. That's hard. I think I have to go right instead of left because it was already on the right side of the thwomp, so I chose the wrong direction, I think. Look, it didn't... How does that setup work? All right, there we go. Not this shit again. What do you want from me? Oh, I get the pow. Oh! Yep, yep, I see it already. Get the pow, throw the pow. Yeah, is that... I think that this is... This setup... This is actually fascinating, by the way. This setup is designed, it seems like, to only work when you go really fast, which is perfect, because it will be when people are least suspecting it, which is exactly what happened to me. Uh, I didn't see where to throw the, this. Probably doesn't matter that much. Let's just throw it. Oh, shit. Did it matter? Where was I supposed to throw it? Oh, I was supposed to bring it over there! I had an idea. It's gone. <laughs> Wait! You can't- I don't think I can put this down. Oh my god. I need to bring it here. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. It's weird that you can't place POWs down without throwing them. All right, here we go. Progress has been made. All right, perfect. What is that? That looks horrible down there. What is that monstrosity? Hey, is that a face? Almost a face. What is that? That looks like a left and right launcher setup. Oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? <laughs> the music, by the way, the... I feel like it's often an often underestimated or underappreciated aspect of level design to have really good sound effects in your levels. This level is spot on with them. The music going silent right then was perfect. The enemy, yeah, enemies out of other enemies are always funny to me. Th that would be a fun setup to just play with. Okay, I guess we go left. <laughs> That's some jank shit right there. I love that little like troll box. That is like the perfect troll box. It's like, I think if I just hold left, we'll be okay. Yeah, okay. It would be, um, something that's always fun is to take well-known tropes and then subvert them somehow. So, like, the, uh, hold left at now is a perfect example of that because you take the, you take the IKEA instructions of what to do next and then it turns out that it wasn't a hint, that was the way you were supposed to go and it just was very silly and awesome. Trolls like that, I think, are fan. What is this? No, see, here we go! Here we go! Hint! All right, all right. What do you mean? It's telling me there's a thing here? Oh. Was there actually, or was that it, and I just did it wrong? How do I get down that shaft? How do I get down that shaft? What? I can't get down that shaft. This is bu Okay, I think it was bullshit. Yeah, 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 I can't get down that shaft. How do I get this? I 
could go back in the door. I should go back in the door. Oh, am I not getting something? Uh-oh. Oh, is it there? Is it saying there's a hidden? <gasps> oh! Light bulb moment. All right. Carl, no understand hint. Was that the first question? No, it wasn't. I thought that it shows a thing like to the left side. So I thought there was some like way to go over there. Okay. Like over to the left of where I am right here. So it means there's one here. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Uh, oh, do I want to go up there? Can I even go up there? No. But how? Oh. Fun! Oh, there's text. There's giant text right there. Still a hint. Still a hint. Does that mean in the previous room? I have an idea. This is hurting my brain hole right now. It's been amazing so far. All right, I've got the big brain plays. I don't have the big brain plays. Slightly more reasonably sized brain plays. All right, here's the new plan. Hmm, okay, we go over here, hold left so we don't get sucked. Obtain this. Oh. Oh, it can't get me now. Yeah, this has got to be it, right? Yeah, let's go! No idea how that setup works. Hey, the coin is at the end too, which... What in the world is that? Oh, is that a little spiny? Is that a little spiny? That's cute. That's cute. What? <laughs> Get that fish out of here! Uh... That's actually really nice. Look, it's zoom in. It's got the little zoomy lines and everything. Or a spike top, yeah. There was definitely a P-switch active. Oh my gosh, I forgot that all of this was just... Wait. What is happening? Oh no, no, yeah, this is just the hub. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, one more to go. Now it's just... This, oh, there's the top pipe too. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can do top pipe or this one. Let's do this one. We'll finish the F. What in the world is this? All right, going in the door. <laughs> Shit! Oh, I wonder if that jump is makeable actually. Maybe with the perfect duck jump. I hate this. I hate this! No, oh, which is it this time? Ah! <laughs> what was that? Oh my god, I hate this. Is it gonna be a third one? Oh my god. No! <laughs> Look, there's clearance on the top. Oh my god, there's a, there's a third and a fourth. Uh. I don't think they have the guts to do it three times. Actually, I do think they have. No, 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 they have the guts. They have the guts to do it three times in a row. I take it back. They absolutely have the guts to do it three times in a row. Yes! Yes! I can't make that. Oh. I don't know what to do. I'm paralyzed. <laughs> that doesn't change anything, I don't think. Yes! Oh shit, oh no, it's not- ah! It's not the last one. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 it's gonna have a mushroom in it. 
It's gonna have a munch in it. It's gonna have a fucking munch in it. I'm not doing it. What were those? What are those? Look at that. That is the most tantalizing Shinyville I have ever seen. Oh my god, do I want the switch? Wait, I hate this! There's shinies to the right. <clears throat> there's... Uh, there's an arrow pointing left. <laughs> Dang. It's an upside down point. Oh my god, this, se this section was beautiful. Okay, one. Oh, that's why that's there. That's why that's there. So does that mean I go down the pit? I think that means I go down the pit. Yeah, I think we hit this and go down the pit. What? Oh my gosh, do I have to go back through the whole section? Oh, that sounds like a nightmare. What was the first troll that you remember? I mean, a Kaiser block. <laughs> No, 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 don't hit that. Oh, look at this, I can go back. Can go back through here. Dee 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 dee. All right, I hate this. Oh, now that one would have gotten me. Okay, hold on, hold on. All right, no block there. I think there is a block here. No, no block there. I think there is a block here. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay. Hold on, let's let, this, let's let this one out. There you go. Be free. Oh, that's right. There's a blocked off area there. <laughs> what? Door times two. Door times two. To the right. Do I have to beat this timer? Oh. oh I for <sighs> Seven months and that's the result. <laughs> Kaizo. <laughs> I love the like split second N64 on the screen right before I died. Ah, this section is driving me crazy. So I was once told that the German expression for driving me crazy literally translates to something like, it goes me round the cookie. Is that true? And if so, that's an amazing expression. On the cookie, okay. Goes me on the cookie. <laughs> it goes me on the cookie. That's amazing. If something annoys you. Oh, okay, okay. It's annoying you. Well, drive you crazy is annoying you. That's that's what it means. Alright, alright. What are other amazing expressions that have weird translations that you guys know? Let's see. Uh oh, that's it. Wait, so where's the Oh, okay, we still have Alright, we still have one more. That's right, that's right, that's right. Bob's your uncle. That is a good one. Uh, let's see. So it's this one. That's obviously not a ground! <laughs> Got him. Easy. I don't even go this way, do I? Uh, wait, we do need... No, wait. Uh, when some information is revealed, we say the monkey comes out the sleeve in Dutch. Oh, I see that. Like, it's kind of like a magic trick or something like that. It's kind of cool. I like that one. Okay, I think if I hold right, it'll work. I was wrong. I saw the switches change, but they changed pretty late. By the way, wait, 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 wait. I have the biggest brain idea of all time. You're actually supposed to fall down here. We hit the, we hit. Maybe there's a coin there. It says F, there's kind of an F in. So what if we do it like that? Yeah, there we go. Oh God, that's the coin. Uh oh, shit. I'm scared, I'm scared. The other ones, we would have been fine. Why is this the one that looks this intimidating? Shit. Okay. No!
I was scared and I hid. There were so many other options that wouldn't have keyed at us. Oh my God. You should do, for the next prediction, you should do will we key death again? Cause I'm gonna get it again. I hate that so much. Ah! This is fine. Okay. Thank you for me, Shrooms. Oh, it's this area. <laughs> it says F right here. Right. Nice sparkles. Now, do I even need to hit this? I don't even know. Because how much bargain for the 83 months? I don't even need to do this. What's the point of that? Woo! Uh, okay, we wait. Ah! There we go. Resist the troll forces. Um, okay. Something useful I can do in that room, right? All right, we're doing it. <laughs> we're doing it. I don't even remember where the other keys are, or where the other coins are. Freaking, don't die to that. No key death, let's go. All right, where is the, key door's down here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's go! P. <laughs> I'm not going in that pipe. I'm not doing it. Remember the non-sus setup contest? <laughs> That's brilliant! If you jump for the Kaizo! <laughs> If you jump for the Kaizo. Oh. We love to see it. <laughs> Every, after that, okay look, after that previous section and after that one, holy shit. Oh, there's more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to see it again. It's so cool looking. They did like such a great job with the pixel art. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. What if getting that extra coin did something? Alright, so we just jump. Hey, there we go. Oh, that level was really good. If you missed the beginning, you have to see... You have to see the door troll at the first area we did. It was incredible. Uh, nice job, Skull Candy and Lunar. Okay, so somebody was asking me an immunology question, and I've actually been getting deep into some really cool immunology. So, um, how many of you in the chat have heard about antibodies before? Probably a lot of you have heard about those. So, like, if you uh, give somebody a vaccine, their body will recognize, like, a little piece of a virus and your body will produce these little Y-shaped things that ah, go and stick to it called antibodies. A lot of people know about that. Um, but how many of you have heard about complement before? So there is this entire system in our bloodstream um, and other parts of our body called complement, the complement system. And it's really interesting. So have you ever wondered what happens when an antibody sticks to something? Like just because something is, just because like a virus or a bacteria or a parasite um, has something stuck to it that doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to prevent it from infecting you. So, um, and so in some cases it does. For instance, a virus can sort of be blocked. Like if it has a bunch of antibodies sticking to it, the virus may not be able to get into your own cells because it's covered with antibodies that, um, that stick to it and block it. We call it neutralize it. Um, but for larger things like bacteria, that may not be the case at all. 
So there is this system in our body uh, that's, um, f they're not, it's not cell based. So for instance, we have these like little cells that will go around and gobble stuff up called macrophages. And then there are other cells um, that will go around and they will kill your own infected cells. So they'll be like, they'll be like going around and checking your cells. And if your cells are sending out a danger signal like they're infected, um, these cells may go over and literally kill that cell or at least like give it the signal to sort of kill itself in a way that like destroys all of the virus that's inside of it. Because it's like that cell has been compromised and is producing virus that's infecting your body. Um, but there's this entirely separate system called complement that's really interesting. So for instance, if the uh, complement system finds like a, let's say a bacteria that has an antibody stuck to it, it literally will form this this they call it the membrane attack complex. So it will like like bore a hole through the bacterial cell and destroy it, um, which is pretty sweet. But it can also do stuff for viruses too. For instance, it may find an antibody that's stuck to a virus, but like let's say that that antibody isn't blocking the virus. Maybe there's not enough of it. Um, it may coat that virus. Um, with a bunch of different proteins that will then either lead to its destruction or like make it fall apart. Um, and then alternatively, it will all, and it's like this other, it has like, the immune system has like, like we think, we often think of just antibodies and stuff, your body makes antibodies and yay, but there's like 50 different mechanisms, maybe even more than that, that all like destroy, inactivate, uh, and otherwise prevent um, pathogens from causing damage in your body. There's another one that is my absolute favorite. I think I might have mentioned it on stream before, but it's it's like the most top 10 anime battle metal immune system thing of all time. So it's called it's called neutrophil extracellular traps or NET. Um, and the way that it works is really interesting. So let's say that you have a bacterial infection. Um, neutrophils are a type of white blood cell um, that they have a ton of other functions, but one thing that they can do is they can essentially booby trap an area using their own literal innards, their own their own cellular guts. So what they do is they will destroy themselves, but they'll do it in a way where they they use their own DNA. So every cell has DNA in it. It will literally use its own DNA as like a web. So it will, it will like die and spread its innards out in a way that literally forms a net, a trap, a blockage of an area so the bacteria can't get through. But it will booby trap it first. So it like makes a bunch of toxins. It makes a bunch of things that kill bacteria, spreads it out with its DNA, and then literally like dies blocking off the area using its own, using its own genetic material as a web, as like a fibrous web to create this trap. And so the bacteria will then get stuck in it and then die. So it's like they kill themselves to save you and from and to stop bacteria from like getting to places that the bacteria shouldn't go, like your vital organs and stuff. Anyway, really, really cool shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I can do that too. They're very do. Cells at work taught me about this. The human body sounds like a rad platformer level. The heroes. Anyway, I just think it's cool that like all of this stuff is going on inside of us all the time. Like you're sitting there sick and it's like, Rawr, I have a fever and I feel bad. But like all this like crazy shit is happening. Um, it's really cool. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, what's happening when you get repeatedly infected? Um, unfortunately, the answer to that is many things. I'm not a medical doctor, Scarface, so um, I wouldn't even know all of them. But just in general, um, there are certain things that can make your body more susceptible to certain to infection. And a lot of it can have to do with like your overall health and your immune system, but it can also have to do with things that you can't control at all, like your genetics. Um, and it can, like, for instance, you could have a genetic difference that makes you more susceptible to one thing, but more resistant to another. Um, there's a lot of trade-offs. It's not always black and white. And there can also just be, you could be in an environment where you're repeatedly exposed to something. Um, you could also be in a climate or something like another type of environmental factor 
um, where you were repeatedly exposed to something that your body is like particularly susceptible to. There could also be anatomical differences so that it's like easier for bacteria or virus or whatever it is to like specifically get into part of your nose or whatever. Like, so there's um, all of those factors all interplay. And so unfortunately it's extremely complicated. The more you know, the more you know, the more you know, the more you know.